Welcome back to the channel. So I am gearing up to build a tree house slash tree platform, place where I can hunt off of, but also just a place I can go and hang out and get away from technology when I need to. So I've been doing some extensive research as to what the proper way to attach a tree house to a tree is. Uh, back in the day when my dad and myself used to build stands, we used to just nail on some boards onto the trees. Maybe the stand would last a season or two, but I'd like to build something a little bit more permanent than that. So the proper way to attach a tree house to a tree is with something called a tree house attachment bolt. Now the problem with those bolts, they're very expensive and out of the price range for many people out there. I think a tree house attachment bolt alone is like around $150, but then in addition to the tree house attachment bolts, you also need brackets. Like there's fixed brackets that are similar to this, and then there's also like these slide brackets, which allow the bolt to slide, uh, therefore allowing the tree to move without uh, wrecking your uh, floor joist and platform. So, I mean, you're talking probably would cost around $1,000 to purchase treehouse attachment bolts and associated hardware. Now, if you're planning on building a large platform, that is definitely the safest route to go. However, if you're looking to build a smaller platform, maybe a four x four tree house, tree stand, something of that nature, I think you can make your own. Uh, in today's video, I would like to share with you my homemade tree house attachment bolts. Now, full disclosure, I'm not an engineer. These are not rated, but I think they're gonna be very safe for what I plan to do here. So first thing I'd like to talk about are the actual lag bolts that I'm gonna be using. These are 5 8 inch diameter by eight inch long galvanized lag bolts. These are the largest lag bolts that I could find from Lowe's and they should be fine for my application. However, if you're looking to build a bigger platform, you probably wanna invest the money in purchasing true tab bolts because they are significantly larger than these. But for a four x four platform, I think these will be absolutely adequate. Now, let's talk about the tree I'm gonna be building this platform on. So this tree has a single stump and the tree splits off into two directions. It's a nice, strong oak tree. But what's really important when you're building a treehouse platform is you want to allow the trees to sway independently of one another. Because if you don't, what can happen if there's a big windstorm, as opposed to allowing the platform to uh, move independently of the trees somewhat, as the trees sway, they're just going to tear apart the platform, which is very dangerous. So here's what I engineered. This bolt obviously is gonna bolt through the tree and there's a piece of pipe welded onto this one inch bracket here, a couple holes that are gonna to bolt to the bottom of the joist, but this side is gonna stay fixed to the tree. So the right trunk, this bracket's not gonna move. It's gonna stay with the right side uh, of the tree. Now this bracket on the left here, it's a little bit different. See, we have this square tubing. Uh, obviously this lag bolt's gonna bolt into the tree, but by having this slot here, in theory, this should allow the tree to sway independently of the platform, hopefully preventing the platform from tearing apart here. Uh, and this is just a piece of one by two square tubing welded onto this piece of one inch flat, a couple bolt holes. So sitting on top of these brackets, it's gonna be the floor joist. I'm gonna bolt the floor joist uh, onto these brackets from the bottom with these Simpson structural screws, three and a half inch, so that attachment should be plenty strong. And finally, on the outside, I will be using some washers. And I had these big square washers sitting around, so I'm probably just gonna use these, put them through the brackets, something like this. And this will just help to, uh, I don't know, keep things in place and ensure that this uh, lag bolt doesn't pull through my homemade bracket. So it's a good idea to have some nice big washers there. So there's a quick look at my treehouse attachment bolts and associated hardware. After I finish filming this video, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to go up in the woods and start building this platform. So keep an eye out for that video as well. Thanks for watching. 